Hi there, this is Jeremy from Braylon Technology Solutions. About a week ago, I had emailed you some information with regards to COVID-19 and the effects on everyone needing to work remotely, work from home. And I had mentioned in there that Microsoft Teams has some uh, exciting features that help to make remote work easier. One of the most important is web conferencing, where you're able to have a meeting with multiple people in this environment that I'm recording in right now. It has some amazing features for collaboration. But oftentimes when you're working remotely, the setting in which you're working causes some problems because you're not in your, your quiet private office at, at work. Uh, you're worried about interruptions. You're worried about your background. Right now I'm in my home office that is less organized uh, and professional looking as what I would have in my Braylon office itself. So what can you do about that when you're meeting with multiple people, maybe trying to set up a meeting with somebody who's outside of your organization so that you can see and have a web conference? Well, I wanted to show you a cool feature in Microsoft Teams that just allows you to blur the background. So I'm going to share my screen with you, um, which is very useful in an online meeting environment in and of itself. But here you'll be able to see what I'm seeing on my screen right now. Um, and if you go to this uh, action menu that pops up towards the bottom of the screen, uh, here you can see I'm recording. Here I can turn my video camera on or off, my microphone on or off. This is the screen sharing that I turned on under these three dots. If you pull it up, there's a number of options here. I'd like to tell you about all of them, but I'm going to focus just right now on blur my background. If I click that one, my background goes to opaque and you can kind of see stuff back there but kind of not so if somebody came in uh, if my kids came into the meeting and got something off the shelf in my office i uh, wouldn't totally disturb the meeting and distract everyone so you're able to have a bit more of a just a professional environment recognizing that everyone's working remotely kind of in a crazy situation right now and this helps to add some privacy and professionalism as needed um, if you don't need it you can just go back in don't blur background and then you're back clear again. Just a really neat feature that's useful among many of the things that you can do in Teams, but for web conference meetings, having quick conversations, being able to talk with your teammates face-to-face -face or even outside individuals when you just can't meet with them in person, Microsoft Teams, which you probably already own as part of your Office 365 subscription, and which Microsoft is giving to businesses for free right now for the rest of the year, even if it's not included with your current subscription, everyone in your organization can work in it and you're able to have those face-to-face -face meetings, conversations, and continue to meet with your, your partners, your contractors, your vendors outside of work, and have very powerful interactive meetings together. So hopefully this was useful. Just a quick overview of one feature. I'll do a couple more videos over the coming days to show you some of the other things that you can do, uh, not only in online meetings, but some of the other features within Teams itself that helps to make the remote work and collaboration really powerful tool that you likely already own. You just need to make use of it beyond maybe what you're doing now. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.